Meanwhile, President Trump calling out Joe Biden as surging violence ravages America's major cities. Things are happening that nobody's ever seen happening, happen in uh, cities that are liberally run. I call them radical lib. And yet uh, they'll go and uh, march on areas and rip everything down in front of them. If that's what you want for a country, uh, you probably have to vote for sleepy Joe Biden because he doesn't know what's happening. Well, here to weigh in is Army veteran GOP candidate for Senate in Michigan, John James. Senator, do you see a crisis or um, aspiring senator? Uh, John, do you see a Thanks, crisis? Man. Uh, so here's the thing about this. Uh, the fact of the matter is you have folks tearing down statues of dead guys and are doing nothing to hold the people accountable who the reason we're in this situation is because they are ineffectiveness in the first place. Joe Biden was first elected to the United States Senate in 1972. He's been in politics for over 40 years. Who's holding him accountable for writing the crime bill? Now, all of a sudden, he's figured out that, there, that there's racism in this country? Give me a break. You got folks like Gary Peters, now all of a sudden, copy and pasting the same call for police reform year after year after year. And when he has the chance to vote for police reform that might help save my life and my son's lives, he votes party lines, chooses Chuck Schumer, and doesn't even allow uh, Tim Scott's uh, police reform bill to get to the floor. That's a failure of leadership, and I believe on that alone, Senator Peters should be relieved of duty. Democrats have been got a total pass on that. They agree with 70 percent of what the House proposed, and they could not even get together and get 60 votes out of the Senate. Meanwhile, you had a program as you traverse, uh, uh, traverse Michigan. It's called Neglected Neighborhoods and Forgotten Farms. You want to give them the attention they deserve, but we're, we're in Michigan, uh, are the cities that are forgotten and how many farms are you talking about? My goodness, everywhere, Brian. See, here's the fact. The, the fact of the matter is career politicians have failed Michigan for decades. The fact isn't when you pass by, whether it's a, a broken down silo or, or a, a farm or a broken down building uh, as you pass your way uh, to, to a baseball game in the city of Detroit, there are neighborhoods that have been neglected. Farms have been forgotten, urban and rural areas that need attention. And the things that unify us are the things that we need, clean air, clean water, a better education for our kids, a better education for our adults. Not just workforce development, but also allowing people, uh, adults, to get uh, uh, basic literacy, numeracy, and essential uh, life skills so they can excel while also uh, being able to earn. These are things that, uh, that we failed, the basics of health care, but not just insurance, but also mental health, addressing addiction, right. trauma, uh, and also uh, physical health. The, the list goes on. Go to johnjamesforsenate.com. We'll tell you a little bit more about it. Do you think on a race perspective that it's harder to be uh, black in America than white in America? Uh, I believe that they're all challenges, but at walking through America as a black man, I'll tell you what, I have few of my white friends who see a cop car in the background and, uh, and have their, their heart race and their palms get sweaty and react like they're in combat in the Detroit suburb. Yes, because I can lose my life at a traffic stop, but also I understand what it's like to be an officer. I understand what it's like to be uh, in combat situation right. to make life and death decisions in a split so, second. Our officers are heroes, and the, the one, the, 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 small, minute portion that are outliers uh, that should be held accountable as appropriate. So you're a successful business person, successful in the military. You want to take the next chapter doing in politics. You've outraised Gary Peters, but you're trailing between seven and ten points. How can you close the gap? Well, the, the best way to close the gap is being able to take the resources that have been uh, given by so many generous folks out there, uh, tens of thousands of donors, average gift of uh, $31, and 95% of all of our donations are below $100. Uh, we've been able to outraise Gary Peters by $1.2 million this quarter, uh, and when it would have been so easy for people not to do anything, by the grace of God, we have the resource to tell the truth. They've been lying about us on a health care. I will always protect seniors. I will always protect people with pre-existing conditions, and I'll do everything I can to lower prescription drug costs. Those are lies that De Senator Peters and the Democrats are telling you, and we're going to have the opportunity to tell the truth. We are actually within single digits after over $13 million spent against me, and uh, we're going to be telling the truth. We're not going to deviate from faith and family, God right. and country and service before itself. And my experience in combat, battle-tested leadership, stability and unity is what this country needs and deserves. All right, Gary Peters, spokesperson, uh, said this. Uh, the groundswell of grassroots support is a testament to Gary's effective leadership to make clear the Michiganders want to keep him in the Senate. But you did outraise him again. 
Uh, of course. Uh, Democrats are going to try to twist every word that I say. They're going to lie. And Chuck Schumer is not going to let the truth get in his way. I'm dedicated to increasing access to the American dream and tearing down barriers to the American dream. Senator Peters has had 30 years in politics, over 10 in Washington and six in the Senate. We're gotcha. going through an economic and a health crisis. And he misses meetings. He has failed to hold China accountable. He's missed 89 percent of those meetings. And he's failed to uh, help small businesses get the, the money that they need, missing 80 Four percent right. of the meetings in the small business committee he was on and missed all of them in 2012. Senator Peters has some answering to do, and based upon his support and his ineffectiveness, uh, I believe that, that Michigan is going to relieve him of duty in 2020. All right, uh, John James, uh, your mission will be to close the gap over the next four months. Meanwhile, yes, sir. Uh, thanks so much for joining us.